Nala, do you love mommy today? You do? That's so sweet of you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Aww. She never actually kisses me. She just pretends. Hey guys, this is maybe too low. Let me see. If you are new here, my name is Ren and I'm on a journey to lose 150 pounds. I am going to do a grocery haul for you guys today. This is a Fred Meyer haul, which is Kroger in my local area. I was supposed to go to Costco before I went to do my pickup order, but I was just losing, I lost track of time and I had to get to my pickup order time. So I didn't get to go to Costco today, but I will be going tomorrow and I will insert that um, haul from Costco at the end of this, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, stay tuned after the Costco haul because I'm gonna show you, um, I ran to Target and I got this mascara for free. Um, I just saw the deal today, so I'm gonna show you guys the deal that I got so you can get this for free. Um, I actually got it for a dollar, but you can get it for free. So, so stay tuned after the Costco haul and I'll show you how to do it, okay? This is not like a huge grocery haul. It's mostly kind of like filling in some spots for the things I need this week. I already have a lot of what I'll need this week for my meals, but this is just kind of filling in the empty spots. I haven't done that many of these on my channel, but I wanna kind of start doing more of them. I don't, I feel like I filmed like 10 of these, but I don't ever end up posting them. I don't know why, I just, I, they're just kind of all over the place. Um, and very disorganized and all over the place. So um, that's probably how this one's gonna be too, but I promise I will post this one. <laughs> I like watching grocery hauls to get like new ideas for different things for me to eat throughout my week. So I thought I would share with you guys things I'm eating. So then maybe you guys will get some ideas. I don't know, we'll see. I literally just like got back from the grocery pickup and they're just all in bags in front of me. So I'm gonna try not to have too much bag crinkly noise happening. <laughs> I'll try to manage that somehow and um this was going to be completely out of order i don't know what order people normally have it in but it's going to be all out of order so i'm just going to start grabbing bags <laughs> um if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed already make sure you subscribe so that youtube will let you know when i post a new video anyways on with the show here just going to the first bag in front of me we got this 100 whole wheat bread it is 100 calories per slice i bought this because i want to have some avocado toast for breakfast this week. We'll see the quality of the avocados that <laughs> the grocery pickup gave me, which by the way, this was Kroger. It's Fred Meyer here locally, but it's the Kroger here. For some reason, when I order avocados from grocery pickup, nobody gives me soft ones, like ones I can eat like anytime this week. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But um, I have seen, it's kind of like, well, I mean, everybody eats avocado toast, yeah, but um, this girl, Dania, I've been watching. Here's her channel here. Um, I found her recently and have been loving watching all of her stuff. And also um, Amanda, I've been watching all of her stuff and she does like an avocado toast, but like on a uh, rice cake, which I don't really like rice cake. So, so I'm gonna be kind of mixing Danya's and Amanda's way of doing the avocado toast kind of together this week. So that's so why I got this. It's 100 calories, but I'm just gonna be eating one slice at a time. So that's okay. I wanted to get more of like a seedy, kind of nutty bread, but the nuts and the seeds are not good for my husband's stomach. So this one should be pretty good. Got a bag of frozen chicken breast. I really don't like handling like actual raw, not frozen chicken. So I always like to buy the frozen stuff. I got this this week for chicken salads, which we love in our house. It seems like one or two nights a week we're having chicken salad. So I got this for chicken salad. And then also I'm gonna cook up the whole bag for dinner time, but then the leftover chicken, I plan on using the next day for, um, I wanna try doing some taco time crisp chicken burritos in the air fryer. My sister-in-law made these a while ago and sent me a picture and I was like, oh my God, like I have to try those. So I'll be using that for those, for one dinner and one lunch with this bag here. By the way, if you did not know, if you do grocery pickup, from what I've heard, I haven't done it yet, but I overheard someone at grocery pickup do this, they will take your bags from you your old bags, but um, Kroger says they have to be the Kroger bags for some reason. The guy said, yeah, are they are they our Kroger bags? And she's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, we could take them. So I need to just like pile them up. Like that. Just kind of roll them up like that. They don't take up as much room. Okay, next, I'll show you guys this. I don't eat these, but like I said, I don't really like rice cakes, but my daughter loves these and maybe you guys might like them. They're the Quaker cheddar rice crisps. They're like small, so they're kind of like chips. It's 18 pieces for 140 calories. Um, she loves these, she eats them every day. Not my thing, but if you guys did not know they have the small ones, you should check them out. I got some petite little cherry tomatoes. I don't usually get these, but Danya does um, 
on her avocado toast, she puts some of these and it looks so good. And she puts a little balsamic vinaigrette on top with this. And I think that's it. But yes, I wanna try that this week with my avocado toast. Oh, with an egg, of course, eggs, duh. Red onion and two yellow onions. I got this red onion for um, tonight. I'll be making some chicken pitas, like Greek pitas tonight for dinner. So I like to have a little red onion on there. And then I have some white onions. I'm gonna be meal prepping Mexican rice, which I started off with an onion. And then um, I'm also gonna be making a tortellini pasta salad, so I like to have a little onion in that too. So you put onions in the taco time crisp chicken burritos too, so. All right, here's the avocados, you guys. Let's see if we'll be even eating avocado toast this week or next week. Oh no, you hear it already? Rock hard avocado. That one's, mm, okay, so like these two, these two are, I could see they were trying a little bit. These are like rock hard. These two, maybe in a few days. Next, I got, is this all of them? Oh no, here's two. Like, wait a minute, I got more than this. Kroger was having a sale on their Hint Water, which I say all the time, I love Hint Water. It's definitely one of the ways I get water down. Um, I don't like drinking just plain water that much. Like I'll drink it if I'm like really thirsty. There's sometimes I'm craving just regular water, yes. But normally like when I'm just trying to hit my water goals every day and I don't, don't really wanna wa drink water, you know? I'll drink water with a little Mio in it or I love, love Hint Water. They're gonna be pretty pricey, so I wait for the sale to go on. They usually have good deals on their website. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check out the sales on their website. Um, a lot of times you can get them for less than a dollar a piece, even with free shipping on the website. But um, I got 10 of them. They were 10 for 10 bucks at Kroger. So I got 10 of them. Watermelon is my favorite, favorite flavor. If you guys haven't had Hint Water, it's just like, it's no sweeteners and no calories. Like, it's just a little hint of the fruit flavor. It doesn't have any fake sugars. Like, it's not sweet at all when you drink it. It's just like really natural fruit flavors. It doesn't taste fake. Although honestly, the lemon one to me has like a artificial lemon taste. You know what I mean? So I don't really like lemon one too much, but um, watermelons are amazing. I got a few different, a couple different flavors. I got the blackberry. Blackberry is really good. The cherry is good too, but to me, everything cherry flavored tastes like cough syrup in some way. So I can't really do the cherry, <laughs> anything. This one is mango grapefruit. This one is really, really good too. And I got raspberry. All right, bananas. Oh, not so bad, not so bad. I once heard someone say life's too short for green bananas. <laughs> cilantro, I got, always have a ton of cilantro in my house. I really should just grow some because we go through it so much. We are cilantro lovers in this house, so it goes on all my tacos, burrito bowls, anything Mexican. Iceberg lettuce for taco bowls, tacos. I'm gonna be meal prepping like rice bowls, Mexican rice bowls. I don't know what you call it. What do you guys call it? It's just gonna be rice with meat and beans as like a taco bowl, you know what I mean? Taco bowls, maybe I'll call it that. But I'll be meal prepping the Mexican rice for that for this week. I'm not gonna be meal prepping too many things. I'm just gonna meal prep some breakfast sandwiches and then the rice bowls. Meal prepping to me is like kind of intimidating. It's such a commitment. Like if I don't want to eat the stuff, then it's like, I feel like forced to eat the stuff for the whole week. If I don't, even if I don't really want it, you know, cause I don't want it to go to waste. But you know, you don't have to commit to a whole week. Um, I heard Amanda say this week or on the video I watched this week, she just said, you know, don't meal, you don't have to go crazy with the meal prep, just meal prep a couple things and always try to have some like fresh chopped veggies and fruit in the fridge just cause it's just so easy. You're more likely to like use it if it's already like readily accessible and you've already put, done some of the work into it. So you're more likely like to use it. And just hearing her put it that way, it's like, duh, like I don't have to make this giant commitment in the meal prepping. I can just do some meal prep and it'll probably help me a lot. So that's what we're doing this week. So thanks Amanda for the little encouragement. Half and half for coffee. Half and half is 40 calories for two tablespoons. And that's about what I use. I usually use like a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons in my coffee. Coffee is one of those things I didn't have to alter at all. Like I always drink like Americanos, iced Americanos. My coffee every morning is not something I've had to like low calorie hack. They have fat free or fat free or low fat, I think they have fat free half and half but it's 20 calories for two tablespoons. So I'm like, I'd rather have the 20 calories and get my full creamy yumminess. So just one of those things. Sometimes you don't have to get rid of the stuff that you like, you know? We're going through that a lot quicker these days because since my husband is sober now, he has found a love for coffee. <laughs> he even like bought himself a new mug and stuff. He went and got himself a new coffee maker because I have an espresso machine, but he wants like old school potted coffee. So cute. Two packs of the of some shredded mozzarella. I like this one because it's 80 calories for a quarter cup. I feel like a lot of times the shredded cheeses are like 100 calories for a quarter cup, but this is, this is good.
good. Or some of them you can find are like 80 calories for a third of a cup, so um, that's even better. But we'll be doing some pizzas this week. Got a cucumber. I'll be using that for my pasta salad as well as the tzatziki sauce for tonight's um, big pitas. And speaking of pitas, I was planning on making the two ingredient dough for pitas. It's actually really good. My husband likes it like fresh baked, but I need to cook the I need to cook them tonight because the chicken is not gonna be good tomorrow. The chicken is best by date is today. So I need to cook the chicken tonight. And my husband work, works really late tonight, so I'm not gonna be staying up really late making him fresh pita bread. <laughs> it's more complicated, so I just bought these. Um, these are, they have a whole wheat version, but they were out of them. I bought these for my husband and my son. They're 200 calories a piece, um, but they have a whole wheat version, which they were out of, so I didn't get any. Uh, they're, I want to say they're 170 calories. They might be 160 calories. Just a little bit less than the calories, but they're whole wheat. I think Costco has the whole wheat ones, so I'm going to check there and see. I like to use the whole wheat ones for my pizza. So if they don't have them, I might do, make some two-ingredient dough for, um, pizza this week. Next up, the Velveeta Slices. This is the 16-pack, so if you get the 16-pack, they're 40 calories each. If you get the 24-pack, they are... 35 calories each, it's weird. It's like they make them a little bit smaller. I don't know why they do that, but these ones are the 40 calorie slices. It's the same cheese, it's just like less cheese in the slice in the other pack, I don't know. Some dry salami, some dry salami, it is six slices, it's 110 calories. I don't know if you guys can see that. And they're kind of thick too. I plan on cutting this up and using it in my tortellini um, salad this week. It's basically the Costco tortellini salad. Do you guys see that salad at your Costco? It's like in the cold section and like the prep prepared food section and it's just like a fatty container of just like colored cheese tortellini with like salami chunks and like feta cheese and all of those. I'm just like, oh my God, I want that. But it's, it's like so expensive and guaranteed like crazy in calories. So I'm gonna try to make my own version of it. We'll see how that goes. Probably one of my higher calorie meals, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. These look interesting. Um, these mini, uh, mini croissants. These are Thomas mini croissants. These are good for a while. These expire in like three weeks. That's interesting. I just wanted to get some sort of a bread for spaghetti night this week. You can buy like the Pillsbury or the Kroger brand reduced fat croissants, which are 90 calories a piece. But these are, these are three croissants for 190 calories. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe we'll have two of these little ones instead of one regular size one. So we'll have those this week with spaghetti. Okay. Next, I love the pre-cooked bacon. It was on sale, two for $5 this week. It is three slices for 90 calories, so the 30 calories a slice. I'll be using this for meal prep this week, and also maybe making BLTs for lunch. Enchilada sauce. I have these little tortilla bowl, like those little tortilla bowl, flour tortilla bowl things. I'm thinking about making some like wet burritos um, with that this week, which is also why I got the black beans. I love, black beans are free for me on my plan. If you're curious about my free foods, my website is linked down below. It kind of explains it. It's pretty similar to Weight Watchers or The Slimming World, but black beans are free on my plan, so I like throwing them in on any of my Mexican food. Um, I've got these. These are like sweetened jalapenos. I've never had these before. Amanda Lewis, she puts like a, she put like a hot, it's like a sweetened jalapeno. I don't know, it looked like a relish to me that she had, but she called it something else. And I was like, oh my God, sweetened? Jalapenos would be amazing on the avocado toast and on a bunch of different things. So we'll see how many calories are these. So one ounce is 30 calories. Excited to try those. I got some chicken bouillon cubes for my meal prep this week for the Mexican rice. Half a cube is 15 calories. I use about three cubes. I don't know, my recipe changes all the time. Honestly, I don't have like a set recipe. My mom used to make it all the time when I was a kid and I don't even know her exact recipe. She's told me a thousand times, but I always just like kind of like, like kind of wing it as I go. Sometimes I overcook the bottom of my rice or it's not all the way cooked or <laughs> I burn the bottom and it's not cooked still. So it's fun, it's fun to figure out. Um, some more Uncle Dan's ranch. Okay, see, some more, some Uncle Dan's ranch seasoning packets. I just throw that in with some non-fat Greek yogurt to make some ranch dip for my pizza. And it's free because non-fat Greek yogurt is free for me. I got another can. I have one more can, but I got an extra one because I'm not sure how much I'll need. But I got the diced green chilies. You put that in with, with cooked chicken, cream cheese, and onions to make the filling for the crisp chicken burritos for taco time. So 
Man, those can't be bad. Okay, so I ordered the 100 calorie light ones of these, the Thomas light ones that are 100 calories a piece, but they were out, so they substituted with these, our sourdough. Oh my gosh. I already have one package of these with 100 calories in my freezer. So I'm like, okay, well, meal prep, these will be for the boys, my husband and my son. And then I'll use the other ones, but man, these are sourdough. So it might be worth the 40 more calories per muffin. It's probably freaking amazing. I love sourdough. Can you find me? Is there a low calorie sourdough out there? Let me know in the comments below if you guys know of a low calorie sourdough bread product of any sort. <laughs> I got a jar of pizza sauce, which I just realized I have two of these already. So I have three jars of pizza sauce in my pantry. This is a quarter cup for 30 calories. I mean, pretty much I don't hate any pizza sauce. If it's low calorie, I'm good. I'm good. One more thing, here we go. I got four, four of these. The 99% fat-free ground turkey. They were on sale, they're still pretty, I mean, they're expensive usually, so getting them on sale is, I mean, stock them up and freeze them. But yeah, I use this for everything since it's free on my plan. Um, I use it, I'm gonna be using it for taco bowls, tacos this week, and then also spaghetti. So that's it for this Kroger part of the haul. Um, I'm going to be going to Costco, like I said, tomorrow. So I'm, I'm gonna insert the Costco part of the haul here. All right, so the next day and I am back from Costco. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Costco. I got a few more things than I thought I was gonna get. So it's not a lot of things, but I'll show you. So as you guys know, they did not have my whole wheat pitas yesterday. So I thought Costco would have the whole wheat ones, but they don't. But these, they have a huge pack of these. These things, where's my receipt? This this whole 12 pack of these pitas was $3.39 at Costco. I think it was the same price for six of them at Fred Meyer yesterday. These are 200 calories a piece, but the, the whole wheat ones are only 10 calories less. They're 190 a piece. So I was gonna meal prep some two ingredient dough for pizza, but I, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with these this week. I'm gonna use them for Greek pitas. Exactly here, I'm gonna use them for Greek pitas and for pizza. <laughs> I got a two pack, two pack of the avocado oil spray. I use it for everything. They're 13 and a half ounces per bottle and it was 11.69 for the two of these. This one I got at another grocery store. It's four, oh my gosh, it's less than half, nearly a third of the size of one of these and this was like five or six bucks for this so getting it at costco oops getting this spray at costco i mean you cannot beat it cheese i got our favorite tillamook sharp cheddar this is 9.99 for this it is three pounds is it three pounds two and a half pounds here for 9.99 which is a great deal cheese is one of the things i don't cut out of my diet um because i just love it so much so this is my favorite kind so i just you know, budgeted in 120 calories an ounce. So I just make it work where I want it. I got one of these big bags. This is like, I don't know how much bigger this is. How much bigger is this than the bags at the grocery store? I mean, it's pretty big. I saw Amanda Lewis um, have one of these bag salads and she split it with her husband. I'm like, duh. I always think of these as high calories, so I don't even look at them. But when you're having it for a whole meal and you split it in half and then add like free food, like chicken to it, then it's like huge. So this whole thing, the whole bag is 960 calories. So half of this entire bag of salad with all the fixins and all the dressing and everything would be less than 500 calories. So I'll have that for lunch one of these, one of these days coming up when I'm like, you know, lazy for a lazy lunch or a lazy dinner. I'm curious though, cause this is such a huge bag. I wonder if half of this would be like too gigantic. I wonder if I'll do like a third or a quarter, <laughs> we'll see. I love a big salad though, so we'll see. This whole bag of salad was $6.49. Okay, and then as far as fruit, got one of these big packs of raspberries, big pack of strawberries, big pack of blueberries, and then they had some I some apricots. Apricots? Did you guys say apricots or apricots? <laughs> I haven't had to say this word in a long time, so. Um, I got a whole bunch of these, which I actually love these. I never eat them, but. I actually love apricots. The blueberries were, Nala, she's right on my food. Nala, you cannot play in this box. You gotta wait till I'm done with it. The blueberries were $3.99, the strawberries were $4.99, the raspberries were also $4.99, and this big thing of apricots was $6.99. This big pack of cookies was $8.99. My daughter really wanted these little cookies. They're kind of, they're soft and chewy, and three cookies is 170 calories, so I'll probably eat some of this. I'll probably eat these too. I want a sweet snack. There's some food I can't have in the house um, because I won't be able to control myself, but 
Cookies I like, but I'll never sit and eat, you know, 10 cookies at once. That'd be another story if it was donuts. And then from the hot food section, um, I got one of these chicken bakes. These things are like $2.99 or something. This is half of the chicken bake. See how big that is? The chicken bake is like eight, I wanna say it's like 850 calories or something, 840 calories. So I just split it with my son. I'll be having that for lunch today. <laughs> okay, so one more thing I wanna throw in here. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I ended up going by Target today, so I ran inside because I had saw this um, deal on the Ibotta app. Now, if you don't know what Ibotta is, let me show it to you. Can you guys see the pink one there? Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see. Okay, you go to the Ibotta app. Okay, if you don't have the Ibotta app, please use the link in the description because if you use it and sign up, then I actually get um, a referral bonus of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it says if you guys sign up using my code, then I, I get something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but thank you if you do sign up using my using that link. I'm always checking this app, but I like to especially check before I go grocery shopping. If nothing else, just to see what I can get for free. Um, so, so for instance, here's what I did here, Target, in-store Target. I already saw this deal, but um, you can look at the deals here. So right here, it'll have for you, buy it again, what's hot, best value, new offers, any items, um, all these different basically like categories, of course, in the store. What I like to do right away, the first thing I do is I go to best value because that's going to show you the items that are either free or really, really discounted. So right there on top is that free after offer. That's what you wanna look for right there is that little free after offer thing. So what that means, and it shows you here Target, let's click it to make it a little bigger here. How this works is um, when you go to Target, you're gonna buy this item just as you would normally buy it. You don't have to use the app or anything at Target. You just go to the store, you buy this one. You wanna make sure it's the right one. Um, Let's see, learn something new. You wanna make sure it's the right one. If you're not sure if it's the right size or whatever, it does say any variety, any size here, but sometimes it's very specific on like what color or um, what size. So you always wanna check the description and see, but it says here um, any variety, any size, so that's good. Um, but if you wanna be extra sure, you can check the barcode. You click that and you scan the barcode just to make sure it's the right product. Let me see, I'll do this with you guys here. Oh. Offer a match. In the store you can do that, you can scan it to make sure, but you verify that it is the right one. So they'll show you all these deals, but you have to actually push the plus sign to add the deal basically to your list. So that is added in for me. Now that that's there, I've already made my purchase. Target, the regular price on that mascara was $7.99, so I'm not getting it for free, I'm actually getting it for you know, like a dollar and three cents or something. So it's still a really good deal. But of course, if you find it at like Walmart, it's gonna be way cheaper. Let's see who else carries this. This deal is not just at Target. Okay, right at the bottom, you can scroll to the bottom, it'll show you also available at these stores. Now, if you go to Walmart, it'll probably be, probably be cheaper. Let's see how much Walmart has it for actually. Come along with me here on this journey. Let's do this Walmart. I think we can actually search by um, walmart.com. We can search by barcode here. So it is, it's $6.97 at Walmart. So it'd be free at Walmart. So hello, if you guys have a Walmart by you, do it at Walmart instead of Target and you get it for free. Hey guys, I just wanted to add in here really quick that the mascara deal, the Revlon mascara deal actually expires on the 30th of this month at 3.54 a.m. I don't know why they put that very precise time in there, but all of these deals do have a shelf life. You wanna check them and see when they expire and they'll give you warnings on the pictures. It'll say like, oh, expires in two days or three days. So um, if you are watching this and it is not already past May 30th, you probably wanna hurry up and get this deal before it expires. So let me show you what we're gonna do to redeem this. Now, I did also buy these soft lips because um, I needed some chapstick. These were 50 cents back, so I got these as well. So they're on the receipt. So let's scan, what we have to do is scan our receipt now. So I'll come in here. I don't know what this is. So this, I don't know what this is. It says earn more 50 cents. Let's see what that is. Oh, earn 50 cents back when you redeem one offer at Target. A Revlon So Fierce Mascara. So it's actually, we're gonna get another 50 cents in addition to the 697, so that's that's cool. That's interesting, so it's making it under a buck for me. Cool. Um, now these bonus offers that you see sometimes, you don't actually have to add them. 
you don't have to actually go in and plus sign these things. They will just pop up if, if you qualify. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna scan the receipt now. So let's see, you can go down here to redeem. And then I'm gonna find Target in store. Skip the receipt, earn cash automatically. So it looks like you can connect link your loyalty account. So you can connect if you have a Target, um, what is it, probably the cart app. I think they have that cart app. If you have that, you can link it automatically so you don't have to do even, even like scan your receipts. But we don't do that, I don't have that, so we're just gonna scan the receipt. How it works, take a photo of your receipt to get cash back, just make sure the receipt is from Target. So you only have one week to scan your receipts once you do it, okay guys? So don't forget, I actually did that last week, I got some deals at Winco and I forgot to scan my receipt, so. So I've got my receipt folded so you don't see the address on it. So what you're gonna do is uh, make sure that the top of the receipt is in the frame there, and then you would click the button there, and if it's longer, you can keep adding to the length. You can keep on adding to the length. Let me go ahead and scan this in. Okay, then you click Submit Receipt. Make sure you've captured the top and the sides. Yes, 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 submit. It's gonna automatically search your receipt to match your offers, uh, but always double check because a lot of times it misses stuff. So I already know this is correct. So those are both selected. If you have offers on there, that it didn't read, then you can click verify more offers and then you can click the button to say, hey, no, I actually bought that. And sometimes it makes you scan the product to just prove that you did buy it and then it'll still give you the credit. So sometimes you gotta do a little more. So collect 747 for two more offers. Yes, we're sending my receipt. Cool, so 747 will be added to your account within 24 hours, done. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, so it's that easy. So just to explain it a little bit more, like, um, so the way Ibotta works, I figured out, is do you guys remember, um, if you're close to my age, you might remember how in newspapers you would get coupons, yes, but then also you'll get like rebates, where you send in your copy of your receipt and fill out a bunch of information, and then they mail you back like your two bucks, three bucks, whatever. But I never did them, because it seemed like a lot of work for just a couple dollars. But this Ibotta app is basically, it's basically rebates. So that's how it works. That's why you can use it. That's why you can use it in addition to sales and coupons. One of the things I do, in addition to looking for the free stuff, is things like like my hair dye. I'm not super picky on my hair dye. So what I do is I go through the beauty sections of my favorite stores, and a lot of times they'll have like six bucks back or like four dollars back on my hair dyes. Say it's like six dollars back at Kroger for one of my hair dyes. I'll go to the Kroger app and then I'll see if they're on sale from there or sometimes there's coupons where it's like, you know, two bucks off of this hair dye. So then often I would go, I mean, there's been so many times I'm getting hair, my hair dye for free or like a buck a box because I'll get it on sale at Fred Meyer then I'll add my coupon to it, just their coupons that you can clip on their app. And then after I've bought them, I take my receipt home and I scan it, and then I'll get my like six bucks back for my Ibotta or whatever. So I end up sometimes even making money. You can make money on these things sometimes. You know, if it's if you can find a better deal, and then, you know, especially those free offers where it's like $6.97 back, if Target had that on sale for, you know, $5.99, I would be making a dollar plus, you know what I mean? So it's definitely worth it, it's definitely fun if you like to save money. It really can save you money, especially if you're using it on stuff you're already gonna buy anyway. A little while ago I got some free, uh, was it? It's free plant-based like vegan jerky, um, which I was never gonna eat, but I'm like, hey, it's free, and my family, I have family who's vegan, so I got it, and I just had it in my fridge until I saw them last. Nala, Nala wants my attention. Nala, do you love mommy today? You do? That's so sweet of you. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Aww. She never actually kisses me, she just pretends. You build up the money you earn. Once you get it over 20 bucks, you can actually withdraw it, um, which goes really quick. Like that one just earned me like over $8 because it was the mascara back, the 50 cents for the chapstick, and then there was a 50 cent bonus for even just redeeming the, the mascara. And then I didn't even realize there was some sort of a, a May bonus or something I got for it, so it was like 15 more cents. That was over eight bucks back to me, so. Um, once it gets over twenty dollars, you can pull it out. Either it goes, you can link it to your PayPal, so it'll go right to your PayPal, or you can use it to buy like other like partnered gift cards, like Amazon or like Old Navy and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, it's super easy. Anyways, um, I'll probably keep including these Ibotta deals in my grocery hauls just because it's part of my grocery shopping that I do. Um, so I highly recommend you guys download the app. 
Again, if you use the link in my description, Ibotta says it's a referral code and I would get some sort of a, I think it's gonna be some sort of a cash back deal. I don't know, they don't tell you. So I don't know what it is, but if you guys are gonna sign up, use the link, it'll help me out. I would, I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching this little extra bonus part. Thanks for following along on this like wild kind of a grocery haul of mine. <laughs> three stores, there's three stores in this haul now. <laughs> if you guys like these sorts of videos and hauls and it gives you guys some good ideas, let me know in the comments below. If you guys get that mascara deal or any other deals that you are excited about, let me also know in the comments. And yeah, I gotta get going because I'm going to eat that half of that chicken bake and then I'm going to do some meal prep. So um, yeah, I gotta go, but Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Philip DeFranco waves his by having a thoughtful conversation for about 90 minutes. We're at the. Not ready. We're not ready.